Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast. Today's episode, I wanted to talk about jobs because the accounting firms are still hiring in many places around the globe. So I wanted to highlight that today because we've been talking about layoffs a lot, but the accounting firms aren't only going to be laying people off and they're not going to just stop completely hiring people. So today I wanted to discuss EY and the jobs that they have posted online. And I just went online on LinkedIn and I just looked at some jobs where they're looking for experienced hires. And I wanted to highlight a couple of those and then speak about them. And I'm going to be doing this for all of the firms. So make sure to subscribe to this podcast and our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest big four jobs. So when I looked online, I searched for E&Y and I looked around the globe. And within the past week, the most jobs that I saw on there were related to tax. And then I drilled down on that further. And I saw that a lot of those are in San Jose. And this makes sense to me because I've spoken about before about layoffs and the industries that are going to be impacted by layoffs like oil and gas, travel, and leisure, and retail. But the one area that I said it was going to do well is is tech. And tech is in San Jose. And then ENY is also really connected to tech because they have a lot of the largest tech companies as their audit clients. So they also have opportunities to, with their audit experience, they can leverage that and get a lot of work out of these tech companies in San Jose for tax compliance as well. And so that's what I saw online was that EY had tons of jobs related to tax in San Jose. And these are experienced hires in San Jose that they're looking for. There's obviously positions they can't fill from just people out of college. And they need experienced hires because that's what their client demands and the client work that they're winning. They're obviously winning more work out there. They're probably advising their clients on tax-related matters right now because the tech companies are still growing as everybody's moving to work online. So I'm sure there's a lot more tax work that needs to get done on there. And another area of EY that's hiring a lot is their EY tax and finance operate openings. And the EY tax and finance operate, this is basically EY's outsourcing of the tax department division. And they want a few big clients in this area. And this is a growing area for the big four accounting firms is outsourcing of tax departments and then other parts of the accounting department. And it doesn't surprise me that they're hiring because this is, again, this is a growing division of the big four accounting firms, but also as the economy goes into a recession, there's going to be more companies that are trying to lay people off and then outsource their departments. And I'm sure their clients are also putting price pressure on the big four accounting firms, and they could probably outsource their tax departments for less than they used to. Like the big four rates for the past couple of years have probably gone up. But then now, because there's a global recession, the big four accounting firms aren't really going to have a choice but to lower their pricing. And this is even for the outsourcing of tax department stuff. So right now, companies are going to be very, very interested. Companies and CFOs are going to be very interested in outsourcing the tax department because they can lay their professionals off and not have to hire them back. And then they can hire the big four. And you might say, well, what happens if the big four raises prices? Well, I mean, CFOs aren't really afraid of negotiating with the big four because you can negotiate the amount of work that you want done by the big four. And also you can negotiate on price because, and that's, and CFOs know how to do this because of the audits. So what they say is you're doing the same work as last year. So why can't I just lower the cost if you're doing the same way, same amount of work? But the other side of this is the big four accounting firms know that, that this is going to happen as well. And they're kind of okay with it because it's yearly revenue, but also they bet in the future that they're going to win additional work from the company because they know they're going to be doing the tax compliance work and that might be the same year over year, but that same client might do a transaction. They might need consulting work and they're going to have the best opportunity for consulting because they're going to be right there looking at the tax work every single day or every month or every quarter. So there's a lot of opportunities in the EY tax and finance operate division. And this is also knowledge for those of you that are in college and figuring out where to focus or where to apply. So these are some areas where you can look for jobs in the tech industry or in San Jose or this outsourcing of tax departments. Maybe express some interest in there versus just saying that you want to go into tax. Learn about the different divisions of tax within the big four and see where the opportunities are and try and focus your skills in those areas. Another thing I noticed when I was looking through these jobs is that there's not that many auditor positions available. And I think this is in line with my expectations because there's a lot of companies that are going to be going out of business or reducing their audit fees. So I don't think the big four are going to be hiring experienced hires in the audit divisions. And they're, they're going to still be hiring people out of college because they have to. But the amount of people they hire is going to be lower probably. But the reason they still have to hire people out of college is because 
it's their it's their backbone. They can't not hire people because if if certain people leave the the firm and they don't have new recruits ready, then it doesn't allow them to do all the work they need to do. But also, the big four business model is to leverage the lower paid people, the lowest people, the associates, because compared to partners, associates don't make that much money. So it's not it doesn't really cost the f- big four firms that much money to have associates. So they're going to keep bringing those in just in case higher ranked people like managers, senior managers, directors leave the firms. So they're still going to be hiring college recruits, but they might be lowering their salary and they might reduce the amount of employees they have. But just looking online, there's not that many experienced positions around the world that the big four are hiring related to audit. And another position that I saw a lot of openings for was in advisory. And more specifically, it was for restructuring advisory jobs. And this makes sense to me because there's going to be a lot of companies looking for a restructuring. And they're probably going to be primarily focused on looking at bankruptcy or just shutting down operations or changing their supply chain. But this shows that the jobs online that are available right now are short, sort of in line with what's happening in the economy. And you need to focus your skills on the where you see the economy going. It might be hard right now to say you want to focus in tax, consulting, or auditing. And that's fine, but you need to start focusing on industries that you see growth in. You need to be careful if, if you're going to be focusing on an industry like oil and gas or retail or real estate. You need to focus on things that are going to grow like tech and then financial companies because financial companies pay the most fees to the big four county firms in the world. So that's just something to keep in mind. And then the tech companies, they don't pay huge audit fees and they might not pay huge fees overall, but they're growing. So the the amount of jobs that are going to be required in those areas is also growing. And then another thing I saw by looking at these jobs is that data and analytics experience is going to be key in the future. And right now this is key because A lot of people don't have experience in this area, or a lot of older people don't. So they think like data and analytics can solve everything. As a young person, you can really leverage that because CFOs today and CEOs, they have a lot of experience and they can use their intuition to project where things are going to go. But what they don't know is how to take data and forecast things in the future. And data doesn't solve all the problems. But if you can leverage data, you can basically get almost any job in the big four because there's so many CFOs, CEOs that want to see that information. They want to see, you know, how this is how COVID-19 is affecting my business today. If I put these things in a model, where is my business going to be in a few years? And they want to be able to mess around with key factors in there. So if you can increase your experience in data and analytics and learn skills around that, you can basically get any kind of job you want in the big four, whether it's in consulting, tax, or audit. So that's what I saw online related to EY jobs right now. I'll make sure to keep you guys up to date on all the jobs that I see online, and then I'll give you my insights on where I think things are and where I think things are headed. To get that information, make sure to subscribe to this podcast, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Big Four County Firms. Thanks for listening.